Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. May God bless you all. Igbo youth under the aegis of the Igbo Correction of Southeast Youth Leaders are in the range over the continued detention of Namdekano, despite the intervention of the United Nations in the matter. The Igbo Youth Group, in a statement on Monday by its President General Kudlok Ibem, accused President Muhammad Buhari of enjoying the consequences of the insecurity challenge posed by the continued detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Ibem maintained that the only way for the President to prove he is not happy with the situation in the southeast and to dis disprove the allegation that the detest the people of the region is to release Namdekano all conditionally in accordance with public outcries and the UN verdict. He further argued that though Boko Haram and bandits in the northern part of the country had been found guilty of committing many atrocities nothing has been done about them contrasting this with the treatment of kano who he claimed is being persecuted for agitating for freedom of his people against oppression the Igbo youth leader also noted that the continued detention of nandi kano is gradually destroying the peace in the zone as he enjoyed the president to show mercy and release him to avert further insecurity challenges in the zone. It is very disrespectful for the federal government under the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari to hold Mazin Namdekanu in detention despite the verdict by the United Nations demanding for his unconditional release. The verdict of the United Nations on Namdekanu case is Biden on Nigeria, and if the Nigerian government continue to hold him against the international law and standard, we will take protest to United Nations headquarters for gross abuse of his fundamental human right to freedom and liberty. Nigeria is as a matter of as Nigeria as a member state of the UN and I beg your pardon. Nigeria as a member state of the UN and it is mandatory for President Muhammad Buhari to obey a verdict. We are very aware that why Namdekano is held in custody up to this time by President Buhari is because Namdekano is an Igbo man and he hates the Igbos with passion. Buhari Pampas is Fulani kinsmen who are members of Boko Haram, Iswap, and Fulani Hezmen, terrorists, and who have committed the worst atrocities against humanity. They have wiped out so many families. Still, President Muhammad Buhari pampers them. These terrorists, who are kingsmen of the president, kill with impunity on a daily basis and have sacked so many communities from their ancestral homes while occupying those communities. These terrorists have declared their own republic in some northern states like Niger, Niger State, like Borono State, Castina, his own states, and Wari is pardoning them and releasing them unconditionally on daily basis. This smacks of selective justice. We are very concerned because the rendition of Namdekanu to Nigeria have destroyed the peace the people of Southeast have been enjoying. Insecurity is the last thing we want now, and only the unconditional release of Namdekanu will restore back the peaceful nature of the Southeast. If President Buhari truly and sincerely wants peace to be restored in the Southeast, he should release Mazi in Namdekanu or conditionally, as demanded by the United Nations, who are very transparent in their verdicts. Speaking also, the elder statesman and legal 
Luminary Chief Mike Aramba has asked the federal government of Nigeria to release the Namdekano, even though he urged the authenticity of the United Nations verdict. According to him, the UN can only act as an advisory body and cannot interfere in the judiciary system of a country. Notwithstanding, Kano, he said, ought to have been released with the popular views of the people. But my desire is for the federal government to release him unconditionally. He shall listen to the voice of the people, which is the voice of God, Ahambara said. Hmm. Uh, by the time the persecution takes off, all the facts and atrocities of Namdekano we emerge. Many families are in sorrow because of the activities of Namdekano, food soldiers called ESN. God of Biafra and God of our great prophet Mazen Namdekano, we do Nigeria what he God did to Egypt. Because Elohi, Chukwo Kiki Abiyama, we destroy Fulani in our own time so that the name of God will be praised forever. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. The truth is that uh, the federal government of Nigeria is not ready to play along with the verdict of uh, the UN. But I don't think uh, Nigerian government will we go scot free if they disobey that understand they don't have to and they should not it's just that their body language shows that they are not ready to do that and according to Igbo youth under the aegis of the creation creation of southeast youth leaders they said nam the canoe is still being held in the detention just because it's an Igbo man i beg that one touched me I am dropping it here. Can you share your thoughts below the comment section? Thank you very much.